things are starting to slow down a little bit now with Wrath Classic because most people, if not all, have been raiding. You've probably got everything on farm and you're just pretty much raid logging already. You'll have all your reputations done. You've got a good amount of gold. I know there's going to be some of you who are like, I'm not even 80 yet. Fair enough. You've got a long way ahead of you still. But the majority of people that have been playing a lot and investing a lot of hours into the game, you're probably a little bit like, oh, not much really to do. You might be working on alts. You might be doing... I don't know, a, n a number of things, achievements, but ultimately, you know, the content on the channel slowed down a little bit, mainly because things going on in game have slowed down a little bit. So I thought we'd just spend five minutes just really recapping on my progress so far. What's happened? What's happening? How am I doing? What's my gear like? Any achievements that I need to do? And basically, what my plans are going to be on stream. So I stream on ScottyJ87 on Twitch. I haven't streamed for a few weeks, but I'm making a return this week, and I'll be streaming every day for... Well, the foreseeable future even if it is only for a couple of hours a day whatever but i'll be there quite a lot over the course of a week so we'll start with the gear i've got decent gear i'm pretty much full best now if i'm completely honest i've got five piece valorous so i've got four piece that's equipped being the head shoulders chest and legs but i've also got the gloves in the bag just in case i ever want to switch any bits out pretty much everything else is 213 except for i've really struggled replacing red sword of courage so still hoping for a weapon to drop from Nax, but I've been hoping every week and no such luck. I also still need to get the shield from KT, but I've got Hero Surrender from Patchwork 25, which at the moment is tiding me over well. It's a decent shield and everything else, as I say, is not going to be replaced. I don't like wearing this blue trinket, but it is very, very good. In terms of world events, I'm slacking a little bit. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to Hallow Be Thy Name, as you can see, I've still got quite a few left to do. It's mainly going around doing trick or treats of Azeroth. Check your head, which obviously I can do that very quick. The Masquerade, Nerd Rage, none of it's going to take too long, well, other than Trick and Treats of Azeroth, but I'm going to tie that in with the Explorer. But unfortunately, I got a PlayStation 5 a couple of days ago, and I'm really struggling to tear myself away from it. So you'll probably start seeing if you're subscribed on Scotty J Live, which is my other YouTube channel, I'll leave a link in the description. Be sure to go and subscribe to it if you like more generic gaming. So I'm going to be using that channel for sort of PlayStation 5 trophies, Xbox achievements, game reviews that sort of thing so just in case you was interested if you like more games than just wow that channel is going to be the place where i'm posting probably more regularly than on here just because there's not really that much to talk about until all the are well lead up to all the are there'll be a lot to talk about but before then not really so yeah achievement wise i've got so much to do i still want to go back and do all the just like the classic dungeons to get all of the classic dungeon master classic raider done all of these sort of things, because I do want to get as close to 100% achievements as possible, but it's just time. And as I say, at the moment, I'm focused on a million different things. So I'm just having to try and prioritize. But I absolutely will. When I'm streaming well, most of the content when I'm streaming is going to be either making gold, getting achievements or leveling alts, because that's a big thing. I need to get another two level eight is done. So currently working on a druid, which uh, I'm actually getting help with from my brother, which is great because it will make it a lot, lot faster. Uh, and my warrior, which I don't know which video would have went out first, but you may have already seen the warrior video. If you haven't, keep your eyes open because that will be coming out soon. But I need to get those two to level 80 and then just work on achievements and stuff. So it's just general stuff. Just tick, tick, keep it ticking over. Do you know what I mean? There's not really a great deal going on outside of rage. You go in and you clear all your 25 man on a Wednesday or if you're doing split runs, maybe Wednesday and then Thursday. And then you just sit twiddling your thumbs pretty much for the rest of the week. Unfortunately, though, we knew that that was how it was going to be. But I did say, you know, phase one was always going to be a bit of a slog because the content's so easy. You get it down so quick that it's then a case of working on alts or getting achievements or farming gold or whatever you enjoy doing in the game. But when it comes to raiding content, there's just a severe lack of anything challenging, obviously. Hopefully, all do our changes that. I'll touch on a couple of things that gets commonly asked as well, and mainly about my UI, which I know it don't really seem like fits in this video, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. On a lot of kill videos and stuff like that, or anywhere where you've seen my combat, people have asked what this bar is in the middle here. It's actually cooldown timeline 2, so you can get that on CurseForge, and it's quite heavily customizable, or if you look on the channel, or I'll put a card up the top now, actually, I've actually covered this in a video, like in, in detail, how I have it set up and what I do with it, and things that you can do with it that I don't use. So yeah, be sure to check that video out. I'll put a link up there now. Did it go up there? Yeah. In terms of gold, again, just due to lack of time, really, I've not been doing a great deal of farming. You know, after getting all my professions done and 
you know, working on alts and spending lots of gold on alts gear and stuff. I'm sat on 9k on here at the moment and on my bank character, which is on another account, I've still got 16k, which is not a great deal, but yeah. So I'm sat on like 25k around that. But I do, again, that's something that's going to be a bit of a priority for me. Once my alts are done, is going to be making gold because I'm going to have to buy Epic Flying on two characters. And or, yeah, it's just that gold's going to disappear very quickly. But just when I say lack of time, I've got loads of time. I'm just spending time doing other things. But yeah, I do need to put a bit of focus on making some gold. And I've got a really, really good couple of ways to do it as well which i might share with you soon just looking at sort of collectibles i got the sea turtle which you've probably already seen the video that i put out about that because i was quite happy about it got the red proto drake from doing the glory of the hero which obviously i've had that for quite a while not got the headless horseman's mount yet which is quite depressing and also not even got the undying yet done it two weeks on the trot and at some point somebody in the group has fouled Last week being the most painful, when it wasn't until KT was on about 40% before someone died. Yeah, it didn't go down well. But these things happen, hopefully we'll get it this week. The week before, something else went wrong. It's one of those achievements where it is just extremely frustrating because you as an individual can do everything that you need to do right and it just takes one minor mistake or one lapse of judgment on a boss that you just don't even expect to cause a problem and goodbye achievement it genuinely is one of the biggest things bugging me in the game at the moment you know because we've done saf 3d 1025 zerg then and god knows what else and you know we clear content very quick good passes all of that but can't seem to get undying it's as if i don't deserve it which is probably true this week we're probably going to do an achievement run as well actually when it comes to 25 man in the hopes of next reset going for the immortal i'd like both of these glory of the raider 10 and 25 done before Alduar. i'm not too bothered whether it's done next week the week after next month as long as it's done before Alduar comes out so we've completed it during current content i'm fine with that and then the same will go for glory of the Alduar raider which Actually, Glory of the Alduar Raider has got a lot less irritating achievements tied to them. So I would actually say Glory of the Alduar Raider, even though some of them require you to do, obviously, hard mode bosses, they are arguably a lot more controllable. So I look forward to that. And to be fair, that's about it. I don't feel like I need to update you too much on anything else. I can't think of anything else to tell you. So I'm just going to leave the video there and hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next update. Roll the outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes. Everyone will know you're a member when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name. And you get access to members only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you on the next one.